Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we provide exercises and workshops to learn about AWS service. Today, we are going to talk about uh, Transcribe, which is one of the AI services uh, from AWS, which can convert your voice into uh, text. So let's uh, get uh, introduction about the service. So uh, before we go to Infect, Infect Transcribe, just to give you an overview about the uh, AI stack of services from AWS. Uh, AWS provides a number of uh, AI services all the way from uh, vision area to speech to language to uh, even chatbot and forecasting. Uh, and these AI services um, uh, can be used for um, uh, functions like uh, image or video uh, recognition or uh, yeah, object or identification. Uh, they can be used for uh, analyzing the scanned document. Um, they can convert text to speech or speech to text. They can they can do sentiment analysis. They can be used to build chatbot. They can do translations. So many of such things they can they can do. And you don't need to uh, like a typical machine learning practice. You have to uh, like uh, have a have a large set of data to uh, model your uh, to, to to train your model and then and then test it and then deploy it. All those pain you don't need to take uh, because uh, all those testing and training has done by AWS over here. Uh, and those and 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 here the services are simply deployed as an API. And all you have to do is use the language of your choice and make API call to these services and use it. And out of these services, we are going to discuss our transcribe today. So uh, transcribe is used to convert speech into text. Uh, and it, it comes primarily, uh, I mean, you can say two, I can't say two versions, but there are two products. One is Amazon Transcribe, which can, of course, can you use to convert speech and text uh, and speech and text, and then we have Amazon Transcribe Medical, which is especially designed to convert your medical speech into text. Okay, and and, and primarily that is used for your uh, clinical uh, documentation uh, purposes. Uh, now, this speech to text capability comes with many many uh, building features. So, for instance, when you are trying to convert speech into text, you can really identify the various uh, speakers, uh, speakers into the uh, speakers into the text. Uh, you can identify the positions of various words you use into text, um, and you can use custom vocabulary if you want, uh, or if you want to avoid certain types of word, you can do that as well. And recently, uh, Amazon Transcribe also launched um, uh, custom language modeling where you can uh, really do um, uh, modeling for like your own modeling using uh, with the language using um, uh, using transcribe uh, i'm any i'm thinking to build another workshop actually to look into some of this customization to be very honest today i want to keep it very fo focused on that if you have been given a speech uh, and if you want a voice and you want to convert that into text how you can do through uh, do using Amazon Transcribe. So that's the focus today. Uh, customization is a big topic in itself, and uh, I really very interested to cover that. But I will probably do that in a uh, separate uh, separate uh, video and, and workshop. So what are we building today? So what we do today is that we have a voice media. Actually, uh, I just simply downloaded a voice media. Uh, from the internet, uh, which was free download. Uh, and then I uploaded that to S3 bucket. And then I'm using Amazon Transcribe to uh, actually uh, analyze that uh, audio. It's not video, it's audio. Uh, analyze that audio. And I'm trying to convert that voice into text. Uh, and to do so, uh, we will use, of course, uh, Amazon Transcribe APIs. And the whole, whole code will build inside um, Cloud9 using Python. So that's what we are going to build today. Pretty simple and straightforward thing. Um, so in order to do this, we have created a workshop. And this workshop has been published to uh, uh, our website, aws-dozo.com. You can follow these uh, steps in this workshop um, now in a sequence to complete uh, the whole exercise, uh, which I've just uh, discussed uh, in the earlier slide. Um, 
the url of this workshop is already provided in the description box below and you can of course access it and, and do that exercise by yourself but let me walk you through the steps of this workshop so here we come uh, to aws-dozo.com where you can see this uh, workshop had been published uh, and i give some introduction over here then you can click on say i want to start the workshop click on this link to start the workshop and it will give you step-by-step -step instructions to uh, to complete the workshop. And, and you can pretty much see, see that there are like five simple steps. Uh, the first step is prerequisite, which is all about you should have an AWS account uh, to do this workshop. And if you don't have, then you can use this link to create um, the AWS account. The next step is the S3 bucket. And, uh, and, and uh, uh, so we create an S3 bucket where we upload the uh, the audio file, uh, uh, which then will be used by the transcribe to convert voice into text. Uh, so simply create, uh, so this is a sample file I have uh, provided over here. To be very honest, if you have uh, an audio file of your own, you can use that as well. In fact, I would encourage you to do that. Um, uh, but yeah, if not, you can simply use this uh, sample audio file, which I have provided over here as part of the workshop. So what you do, you create a, work, uh, you create a, a bucket, and in, in that bucket, we simply go and upload this audio file. So this works as an input um, to the AWS transcribe uh, to, uh, to, to convert voice into text from this audio file. So you have to make note of this uh, object URL because this is what transcribe uh, need, uh, need to know, uh, to know the location of the voice file. So now next we create a development environment. So since we are going to do the whole development inside uh, AWS, uh, uh, Cloud9, uh, we need to configure AWS Cloud9 so that it can program with uh, Amazon Transcribe. And for that, for that, we need to install Python Boto3, okay? Uh, so what we are doing here is that in AWS, AWS Cloud9, we're simply starting a new uh, environment altogether with uh, the smallest uh, machine possible so that you don't, uh, yeah, in fact, it's a free tier machine, so you will not incur any cost if you use this machine and if uh, yeah, if your account is under the free uh, free trial account. Um, uh, and under free tier, I mean. Uh, and then once you have set up the, uh, created the environment, you simply go ahead and install uh, uh, Python Boto3 uh, because you're going to use Python Boto3 to talk to Amazon Transcribe API to uh, build this whole scenario. So the environment is ready. Now the next step is to uh, convert, to create a code which will convert voice into uh, text. And here is the here's the code. It's, it's it's pretty straightforward code, guys. So what we are doing here is that uh, what you do actually you create a, a transcribe job. So uh, this is not like a real time thing that you passed um, your audio file as an input and it's giving back your uh, output right away because your transcription could be uh, quite big. Uh, so what you do is that you create a job and then uh, then job will run and you can wait for job to complete. And once job completes, you simply then uh, take the output of the job and, and that, will, that output will have um, many information like uh, the transcription and the speakers and the words and their position and many other things, uh, many, many other things like that. Um, but today we'll focus on simply uh, taking out the transcription out of uh, the the audio file. So let's take the let's see the flow of the uh, of the code. So you first create a, a client for the transcribe. Then uh, here is the job name, and then here is the location where your uh, sample uh, sample voice file is uploaded. Then you simply start a job, and when you start a job, you have to provide information like uh, okay, what is the job name, where is the media file. What is the media format, which is MP3, and what is the language of the media, which is English in this case. And then uh, this will start the job. Now we want to wait till the job is completed, and either it will complete either either completed, or if something went wrong, it will fail. So what we are doing here in this loop is that waiting till the job gets completed, and then we are like sleeping for 10 seconds, come back again. 10 seconds, um, I think 10 milliseconds, and then come back again. Uh, we, are, we are doing like that. So, uh, and it's in fact, it's 10 seconds, not milliseconds. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so sleep uses second as a parameter. So we are waiting for 10 seconds and coming back. So here we are simply uh, yeah, waiting for the job to job to get over. Um, yeah, and then once job is, uh, once jobs 
changes to complete state in this case, then we simply go and what happens is that when job completes, actually it creates the whole transcription and the related information um, uh, that put that information to a JSON document. And then that JSON document is uploaded, uh, is uploaded to uh, uh, an S3 bucket. And then a signed URL of that S3 bucket is given back to you. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. So job completes the transcription. The whole transcription detail is uh, bundled into a JSON file. And that JSON file is uploaded to an S3 bucket. And that assigned URL of that S3 bucket is given back to you. So this is what happens behind the scene uh, by the transcription, uh, by the transcribe. Uh, so, uh, so what we do here is that um, we get this uh, URL of that signed, uh, the, the S3 signed URL. And this signed URL, uh, it, it provides you access to the content for a certain period of time. I, I don't remember that exact time uh, of my head, but yeah, it provides you signed URL for access for a certain period of time. Uh, so what we are doing here is simply we are getting that URL back and then we are using the request method um, uh, to get the JSON document back. So we are simply calling that uh, signed URL uh, that will give us back the JSON document which the signed URL has. And then out of that JSON document, we are interested into the transcription part. So I told you that your JSON document will have uh, full length of transcription details. Like it will have information like you know, speakers and uh, number of speakers and, uh, and then words and their position. It has, it has a number of details. It's quite a big document, guys. But here in this case, I'm keeping it simple and I'm trying to simply read the transcription out of it. And that's what we are passing over here. So once this code is ready, actually, uh, we simply go save this code and then we run it. And when you run it, you can see that it is it it is uh, it is uh, it has created a transcription job. In fact, if you go at this point of time to AWS Transcribe Console, uh, you can see a job running over there. Okay, so it's running the job, uh, and then yeah, wait till it's complete. It looks like yeah, it takes uh, yeah, depending on the file size, it, it takes some time to complete. Uh, when the job the job completes, actually, uh, you can see that it has extracted the text from the voice and print it over here in the console as we have written in the code. So this was a very quick and uh, a, a nice example of how you can uh, how you can convert voice into the text. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of things you can do from the customization point of view, like you can build your custom vocabulary. In fact, you can model your custom language. language. Um, you can work with medical transcription, you can um, uh, you might be interested to know how many speakers are there. Uh, all those things are possible. Uh, I leave either, uh, you can either experiment yourself now that you've got a little head start how the whole thing work, or uh, I'm anyway planning to do um, a, a workshop and video like this to talk about the type of uh, type of customization you can do with the uh, Amazon Transcribe service. Uh, now, next step is to go and clean up the resources uh, so that you don't incur any uh, any cost. So this was uh, this was uh, uh, this was all about um, uh, uh, this exercise. Hope you like it, and if you like, please click on the like button and please subscribe to our channel. In AWS Hyphen Dojo, we provide many exercises and workshops like this, uh, which are uh, which can be used to learn about AWS services. I I, re I strongly re recommend that you should uh, visit our website, go through these exercises and workshop. And, and, and use that to learn about various AWS services. If you have any feedback or comment, or if you have requests for new content, please feel free to provide that either in the comment box in the YouTube channel, or you can also reach out to us through this contact as that. That's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for your time. Um, see you again with the next video. Uh, and meanwhile, have a nice day. Good luck. Bye-bye.